Welcome to What You Need to Know Now or Later, a show where I, Brad Hall, get to discuss things that I don't normally get to discuss. I'm going to share all of the knowledge that I keep right up here. So there's a lot floating around up there, and I'm going to spill it out for you. On this first episode, we are going to stick close to the heart, close to the brain. We're going to talk about shoes. I just want to start strong, so that's what we're going to do. And I've got a great shoe to do it with, the Yeezy 350 V2 Butter. It's a beautiful shoe. I'm a sucker for simple. This one is simple, subtle, and basic. I love the mix of color on this one. Pale, highlighter yellow, limeade that's a bit too watery, limeade that's too watery and also has some milk in it, and then that sole. That's the milky limeade that got a little too old and started to turn. A lot of different colors and they all come together really well. Love the way this one looks. Now on this show, it's all about taking a deeper dive. That's exactly what we're gonna do today. I've been thinking about this model for several hours, trying to understand why is it called butter? It's not immediately apparent that any of the colors on this resemble butter, or do they? That's what I wondered. So I busted out all of the butters in my fridge. So I've got all my butters out. We're gonna go through them one by one, compare them to the color of the shoe. We're gonna really focus in on that sole. I think that's the closest to butter, at least the butter that I remember from childhood that I used to eat so much of. So let's go through the butters. We're gonna start with the generic butter. I'm not sure which brand this was. It was just in my fridge. And if you look at that, not too off. You can see that the butter's aged a bit and that gets it pretty close, but let's keep going. It could just be the aging. Now we've got the Lando Lakes unsalted butter. If you look at this one, that's not bad. Maybe even closer to that midsole, but less green. But so far, I would say this is not a good butter. 365 brand unsalted butter. And look at that. You can see it's in the same color family, but much lighter than the sole. Maybe with a few years of aging, that would get closer to the sole. Up next, we're gonna dive into the containers. It's a buttery spread. That's pretty close. You can see why this shoe is called butter now. It's more of a butter spread than an actual butter. Let's just dive into that other container, see if there's any difference. This was Earth Balance. Now we're checking out Smart Balance. Let's get this out of the way. And look at this, much darker, I can tell right away. And that is not a good match, but we do have a match. We can see why Kanye called this shoe butter. It's because he must buy Earth Balance Vegan Butter Spread. It's really interesting to see where people get their inspiration from. It can come from anywhere. Kanye, he must get it from what he eats for breakfast. So this was what you need to know now or later. We took a deep dive today. We found out exactly why this shoe got its butter name. And I discovered that, turns out, I know a lot about both shoes and butter. 